Hi beautiful, today we are talking about water fasting. So, you think you want to water fast for weight loss. It seems like a great idea, right? You've seen all these videos on YouTube, pictures of people who have fasted, maybe doing water fast or juice cleanse, master fast. People who've had these amazing transformation drop so much weight in just two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, sometimes with the master fast, it's like 108 days. You've seen these people carrying excess weight go from larger frames to very ideal, light, lean, awesome looking physiques, this brightness, this radiance about themselves, better health, all these different things. And you're like, man, I want to water fast for weight loss. Well, friends, let me just say that I have water fasted for weight loss not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. And we're not talking about just one day water fast, two day, three day, four day, five day, ten day. I'm not even counting those (laughs) because I couldn't count them if I even wanted to probably. I'm talking about 21 day plus water fasts. I've completed two 28 day water fasts with days of juice or coconut water on either end. I've completed a 40 day water fast. I have completed a 20 day, 21 day water fast. And like I said, with varying amounts of, you know, like one fast I did seven days coconut water before, and then a 28 day water fast, and then like 10 days of juice after. That was a (laughs) epic experience. And, you know, I am not here to knock water fasting, juicing, cleansing, detoxing, master fast, master cleanse, any of that. They can all be very powerful, necessary, deeply healing tools. But, but, (laughs) check your motivation, y'all, really. Honestly, check your motivation. Because if deep healing of, say, cancer or diabetes or some other chronic illness is your true heart's desire, deep motivation, then my advice to you is to do a supervised, medically supervised would be my recommendation at a place like True North Health Center. There are other places where you can do supervised water fast and at least have some kind of supervision and at least have some kind of non-weight loss legitimate. And I mean, y'all, be be honest here, okay? Like, if weight loss is part of the picture, it needs to be like number 10 or something, right? And you have nine good reasons before that that are truly motivating it. Because if you are truly, honestly water fasting, or even juice cleansing or any of these things just for the weight loss, you are only making things harder for yourself long term. And, you know, I wish <laughs> I wish I could go back in time and have this video speak to me like four years ago when I was like watching all these different videos on YouTube and reading books and studying about water fasting. And I heard again and again people who were like, don't water fast for weight loss, don't water fast for weight loss. And, you know, having this resistance and this defensiveness in me that was like, oh no, that won't happen to me. Oh no, I won't gain the weight back afterward. Oh no, I'll stick to my ideal diet and eating plan, raw food, low fat lifestyle afterwards. Oh no, I'll stick to whatever afterwards, y'all. No joke. It can be really hard to stick to whatever your plan is after you finish your water fast, depending on your background, depending on your health, depending on how long you were on 
your ideal program before you water fasted or juice cleansed or whatever. Now, I've heard people recommend, Doug Graham being an example, recommend being on, let's say you want to be low fat, raw, vegan long term. Well, being really firm, disciplined, consistent, strong, confident in a low fat, raw, vegan lifestyle for at least a year before you actually do a water fast. And I would say that's probably a pretty good rule of thumb. Before I water fasted each time, I was shakier in my diet. I was still kind of in my head like not 100% committed to low fat, raw you know, still kind of toying with the idea of a low-fat cooked approach or a anything as long as it's raw approach or anything as long as it's vegan approach or whole food plant-based or this or that or like way too many choices, ideas, way too much openness and flexibility. So with, you know, if you are going to water fast, make sure you know what you want to do, be chugging along with that for at least a year before you think about doing a water fast. You might find that within a year of doing the dietary and lifestyle program of your choice that you don't even need a water fast because suddenly your diabetes goes away, it reverses, you're able to come off your medication, your high blood pressure, it goes away, you're able to get off your medication Whatever your issue, maybe it's more mental, emotional health problem. You, you start doing the daily yoga, meditation, dance, mindful movement, amping up your exercise, seeing a talk therapist, working with a holistic health coach, working with an energy healer, body worker, whatever, and you get it together so that that alluring idea of water fast, whether your goals are mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, that allure kind of loses itself and you're like dude I need to just like keep eating the way I'm eating that works for me I need to keep up with the other healing therapies and elements of healthy lifestyle so like I said I wish I could go back in time and like watch this video that <laughs> I'm shooting right now because yeah f four years ago yeah it was about four years ago 2015 um, was when I was collecting data on water fasting and making up my mind and then I started my series of long water fasts and it just kind of got me worse and worse and I am only now in a place where I feel like is where I wanted to be then like I'm, I'm having the experience in my body mind, spirit, soul emotional self that I was so desiring back then so eat y'all <laughs> keep eating you know slow and steady progress is the way to go especially if weight loss is your goal especially if you have a lot of weight to lose it's going to be a, a longer journey but you know depending on other factors the rate of your weight loss maybe quicker at times maybe slower at times it's going to be variable but it will happen especially on a low fat raw vegan diet in my experience that is what has worked for me tweaking as my body changes as my needs change as my activity level changes as i am intuitively guided by my body who now trusts me because those water fasts were showing my body again and again that calories were not a given, adequate nutrition was not a given, adequate vitamin and mineral intake was not a given. So I did end up with deficiencies. I did end up with massive cravings. Sometimes, usually after the water fast for the first month or so, I was like, I was like little light being like breatharian, didn't didn't need food, didn't really need much of anything, didn't really crave much of anything, kept things really clean, really simple, kind of like how I eat now almost, um, which is ironic, right? <laughs> um, and then slowly but surely those cravings would set in, you know, I think 
after my first long fast, it took, it actually, it, it wasn't that long. It was like about a month in because I had a major stressor happen after. And then it was like, bang, going to Walmart at night, getting two jars of nut butter and chow in town or eating a pound of nuts or or, or then it was slippery slope into like oil and then cooked food and then it was, you know, cooked food all day, every day. And yeah, way too much food for my system and not the foods that work for me. Emotional eating, overeating, binge eating and gaining, putting back on that weight that I had lost and, and then some and then, oh, let's fast again water fast, lose the weight, return to a state of low fat, raw vegan, oh, everything's good, everything's fine, and then after that fast, it was about, yeah, I I was really strict with myself after that one, because I didn't want what happened before to happen again, and stayed low fat, raw, was not allowing myself any fats, and then about two months in I was like really craving fats I was craving beans I started incorporating some of that started incorporating salt and and then at about the four or five month mark I just like bottomed out and again returned to this like cook food every single meal not that there's anything wrong with cook food but it doesn't work for me and I was not doing it in a balanced way of like reasonable portions. <laughs> they were not reasonable. <laughs> you know, with raw food, portion size can be quite large because the calorie density is a lot lower. But in cooked food, the calorie density is higher. I was eating like raw food portions of cooked meals and it was just... It was way too much for my system and I did not feel good energetically on any level, stopped moving my body and was just really like living for my next fix of really heavy food. And um, yeah, again, this coincided with a few different stressors and that's how I was coping was with the food. So another big caveat, if you're thinking of water fasting for weight loss, not only should you stick to your optimal ideal dietary program for a good long time before you even consider it you should also really start learning about ways to cope with life that don't involve overeating and getting some kind of mastery over eating and actually changing your relationship with food and eating so that you're eating for fuel and you're enjoying it but it's not like your next fix and like all you're thinking about is your next meal I mean y'all that is not how life has to work I promise you now that I'm on the other side I can really tell you all that Um, one of the tools that's really helped me immensely with changing my relationship to food is the Never Binge Again program by Dr. Glenn Livingston He's a clinical psychologist, researcher, lots of experience, lots of knowledge, and he has a really simple like mental shift, mindset shift framework that helps you start identifying what well, helped me start identifying when I was being triggered, cravings, binging, those kinds of thoughts so that I could just nip them in the bud and deal in a different way and not be like a slave to programs that were causing me to eat when I wasn't hungry, eat foods that I didn't really want to eat, and those kinds of things. And then finally, when you start getting, in my experience, when I started getting a grip on all that, I really started focusing on honing, perfecting, practicing consistently all the different mental and emotional and spiritual tools that help me cope with life and relationships and self-care in such a way that I wasn't using food or fasting as a fix-all for those things. Because just like you can use overeating and binging and food and food addiction as a way to like numb the pain, not deal with the pain, cope with stress you can also use fasting as that too 
you might not have known that. So fasting, in my experience, has been like a semi-blissful like rest pause to life where you're just you're not even relating to food it frees up a lot of mental space in some ways um, depending on how you fast but you know it really it kind of like opens the higher chakras it opens the lower chakras too because they're not digesting food they can just be freed up to digest experience but it kind of like in my experience was letting me live in this semi-meditative space of just like lightness 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 that felt so good and it felt yeah it was almost like a delusional (laughs) thing like a honeymoon bliss fast state that was ultimately very much impermanent and not fixing or addressing or really digging into and healing the underlying issues that were causing the fast. It was almost like a 21 day, you know, vacation from my problems, but when the fast ended, all the problems came right back. So, yeah, I hope that helps clarify and share a bit of perspective about fasting. And also just know that it can be quite addictive, like I said, especially if you fast, you know, have good results, then end up rebounding and then again get hooked into that. Well, I could just lose the excess weight again really quickly um, by fasting. And then again, you're setting yourself up for binging deficiencies, those feelings of deprivation, the unhealed emotional, mental, and spiritual things, life stressors come up, and you're propelled once again to cope in the way of fasting. So it can be addictive. Not saying that that's the case for everyone. I'm sure I am more of an extreme example. (laughs) But yeah, I really hope that this video shed some light on that for you and can serve as a beacon of self-love and you got this and you don't have to water fast for weight loss in fact it's not a good idea and really do believe me i did it four times long term it did not work i'm not saying it won't work for everyone i think there is a small minority who probably can water fast for weight loss have it work and then they change their lifestyle afterward and are rock solid on their lifestyle but I'm saying you know just skip that whole thing if weight loss is your number one goal just go low fat raw vegan or whatever your ideal healthy balanced dietary choice is stick with that mindfully move your body make sure you're meeting your mental emotional spiritual needs make sure you are living in alignment with your heart's truth and speaking your truth sharing your truth expressing your truth living honoring enjoying freeing liberating respecting your inner child and you don't have to water fast for weight loss the weight loss will just happen effortlessly joyfully as you begin to live the life that you designed for yourself that you probably conceived of for yourself many lifetimes before or you know transcending space and time you know really living your truth living your most highest most authentic expanded most realized self so like this video if you like it subscribe for more leave me a comment if you have experience with water fasting water fasting for weight loss any of this and take care of yourself in the meantime much love to you namaste